There were nine pitches in our cave. We often roosted with the next to next to high pitches. We got along with most of the pitches. But every once in a while, a low pitch would come along and kill one of our babies. Every time I defecated, mother would lick my anus. She took me with her, echoing for worms. On the very edge of memory is brother's first flight. He fractured his skull and he drowned. One morning I echoed an enormous worm I cried because I could not eat him all at once. God appeared to me and she said, Sometimes you have to kill more than you can eat. I was three wet seasons old when I first detected the wonderful odor. What was it, like sweat and moonlight and mashed up moths? It was coming from her sexual opening. That spring, I had sexual intercourse with 42 different girls. I like to pluck worms from cracks in the Mayan temple. Some next to next to high pitch girls live there.
God appeared to me as I was cleaning my tragus. She said, You must only have sexual intercourse with your own species. All those worms made me thirsty. I echoed a dull void that was water. I curled my lips into a cup. I thought I would burst with happiness. More and more, our nursery smelled like rotten blood. God told me, Low pitches are eating all your babies. In another 13 generations, God said, You lower than mid pitches will become extinct. Every wet season, I looked forward to having sexual intercourse. I love to defecate and comb myself and drink water. I prayed to God that I might live forever. But three days later, on January 4th, 1361, I died of old age. <laughs>